when you were a kid, you probably had dreams of, of some grand career that you were going to have that led to some wonderful life. And then, of course, life happens and you end up doing something each and every day that you might not even care about at all. But you've got to do something. You've got to pay the bills. Look, we've all been there at least once in our lives. Well, our next guest says that it's really never too late. And it's a great way to start a new month and a Monday. He's the author of the book. It's called Go, How to Find Purpose and Your Passion. And I'm, I'm looking at the book right here. Uh, his name is uh, Gregory Knapp, and uh, we really appreciate you being with us. Thanks. And I, I don't think that you know it's it's spring. It's it's a new month. It's almost like it's it's an opportunity to have to make a New Year's resolution and and, and try something different. So why do people just get stuck and trapped? Well, I love how you started it when you're saying you end up just doing something. I mean, I don't think most people dreamed of being the assistant to the assistant manager, you know, unless you're Dwight from the office. Right. Uh, right you know, exactly. you, you actually had something you wanted to do. And I, I think the first thing is to acknowledge that because a lot of times we get so busy in life and we're just doing what we've got to do. You know, I mean, we got to work. we got to take care of the kids. we got to be with our spouse. So first thing is you got to acknowledge it. I start the book with what Mark Twain said. He said, you know, the two most important days in your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. And if you're not even looking for why, you're in trouble. But once you once you say, yeah, man, I feel it, because every single person in the world has a couple things in common. You want to count. You want to live a life that matters. Right. Right? A life of significance. So then you got to figure out what that is. And I, I walk you through this in the book. I call it um, Remember and Rediscover, R&R Time. A lady was talking about me time. Well, this would be me time, but we're not telling somebody to pay us. We're going and taking a little retreat on our own on a right. weekend, a couple hours. We're going to remember what what were some most successful, most excited times when we felt like we were in the zone of the flow, right? People come up and go, "Man, you are awesome at that." Yeah, it was yeah. easy for you, right? And and you just felt like time was flying. You do it even if you didn't get paid. I mean, that's the kind of passion that we're looking for. That's the beginning. And then I like the rediscover that you were talking about. What was that dream you had that you used to want to do, be, or become? Like we've all had them. Way back yeah, then or it was the reason you got up in the morning, right? In Okinawa, they call it ikigai, mm -hmm. which is your reason for being, why you wake up. And so when you when you start to go back and find those, that's the beginning of figuring out what this is. And once you find that, then we start pursuing it. So what steps, or what would you say to somebody who's, who's maybe watching this and they're on their couch right now and, and they're thinking to themselves, all right, well, like maybe I'll go for a hike this weekend and, and start thinking about it. But what are some actionable things they can, they can really do to kind of get off the couch and start pursuing what they should be doing? and not what they have to do just to pay the bills and all that kind of stuff. Right. Well, just like we were talking about, you've got to start figuring out inside. See, a lot of people think, if I just take this test or if I go over here and do that, your passion and purpose is already inside you. Right. Right. It's what you were born with. You've got to pull it out. And that's the first thing that we were talking about, the remembering and rediscovering. And then you've got to start coming up with, okay, I, I think I know what this is. Now I've got to figure out some goals to go with it and some action plans because you've got to take action. And, and I hate this idea of people go, you got to go big or go home. Yeah. No, because that's going to stop you because fear is going to creep in right. that I might lose everything and I'm eating government cheese in a van down by the river in a few days, <laughs> right? No, 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 no. I, I say start small and then go big. Okay. You know, take consistent action every day. Start this on the side. Maybe move over to it. I played trumpet when I was a kid and I was trying this really difficult solo and my teacher said, you know, the problem, Greg, is you're trying to play that whole solo. I go, well, yeah, isn't that the point? He right. said, no, the point is to learn the solo one note at a time. You can only play one note at a time. Yeah. So it's the same thing here. You can only take one step at a time. Don't try and do it all. You take the step until the next step appears. And it's all progress. It's all a step forward. Great. Consistent we are at a time. Daily. Great quote that, I, that I, I just thought of when I was getting ready for the interview here. John Lennon, 1981, he wrote this. Uh, Life is what happens while you are busy making other plans. And that's what people, they fall into that trap, I feel like. Um, but it's never too late. And I think that's... You get caught up in life, for yeah, sure. that's the point of your book. Well, thank you so much for...